it is time for the love talk of the day. So, um, I remember my mom talking about marriage when I was a young girl and, you know, in church, just like everybody else in the world, people have marital issues. And so my mom said back in the day, they would say things like, girl, you made your bed hard. Now lay in it. Meaning if you married a raggedy man, you can't be married and now be mad that he's a raggedy man. So if you married somebody and you knew who they were, before they married, before you married them, or you did not take time to find out who they were, you can't be mad at anybody for yourself for not doing your due diligence. Now, whether you included God in the process and this is your he to find it, then you prayed about it and you knew like marriage is marriage. Whether you knew and it was a he asked your hand in marriage and did everything the quote unquote right way, you still gonna have real life problems. But it's even worse when you didn't. You know what? I'm tired of being by myself. I'm going to get married. The Bible says it's better to marry than to burn. I'm burning. Let's get married. And you don't do the work. You're going to be hit in the face with what real marriage is. And it is hard. And it is not always easy. And it is for grown people. And you have to be mature. And you have to be patient. And if you sit at the altar for better or for worse, you cannot leave just because the worst happens. Now, I understand people do leave and there are circumstances. And I understand that even the Bible talks about um, when things, you know, step outside and what you can do even according to the word of God. But, you know, if you are a believer, we talk a lot about forgiveness and compassion and understanding. And sometimes the person that we need to extend that to the most is our spouse. So before you get married, make sure you have prayed, you have spent time with the father, you have made sure that you've been in great counsel because the Bible says there is great safety in the midst of counsel. You know, you shouldn't be the only judge, the only gauge. They need to talk to your friends, your mama, your pastor. And listen, I was all about that life. What y'all think? Is he crazy? Am I, am I too in love? I can't see it. He in that job and I don't know it. Listen, I need the village to help me understand and sort some things out. Use your village, but by all means, make sure you are aware and honest about your relationship. All right. That's my love talk for the day, ladies and gentlemen. Love you. And I mean it.